everybody, welcome to Grillworks. I'm your host, Chef Gary Goss on Eastlink TV, and today we're gonna rock out our version of a dessert pizza with a master array of fruit. Stick around, we also got a fruit smoothie coming up and a special guest. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Grab a drink and hang around. Everybody, welcome back again. Have we got a doozy of a show for you today, folks? We're going to be doing everybody's favorite dessert on the grill. Grill always works. Don't forget it, by the way. First, starting off, we want to macerate our fruit. What macerate our fruit means? We're going to marinate it in some alcohol for a little while. Just going to grab our bowl over here, and we have a wonderful iceberg raspberry wine from Ock Island Winery here in Newfoundland, Twilling Gate, of course. I'm going to pop this bad boy open here. Pour a couple cups. There we are. Ooh, gotta pour some of that up too for drinking as we're doing the show. Why not? And our fruit right here. We have some mango. And we have some apricots right here. We have some nectarines, some peaches. We're just going to pop these in here. Cut our mango down one more time. Now, what we want to do here, we want to put a bit of fresh mint. We have some fresh mint right here. Get some of that going right in there. Ah, here we go. Strip the leaves. Nothing like fresh mint. I'm telling you, this stuff smells, whoo boy, it's like a blast of freshness. Get this going here, a little rough chop, as we are only marinating or macerating our fruit. that in there just like that and I like a little touch of cinnamon just a little pinch like that this is where everything this is where the fun comes in cooking take your hands gently roll it around in the bowl get those puppies soaking up that alcohol there that nice wine we go. we're gonna take that we'll set that aside right over here grab a bit of paper towel get my hands clean all right now we're gonna move on into our dough so we're gonna make a regular pizza though, but we're going to sweeten it up a bit, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take our flour, get our flour in our lovely little mixing bowl, and if you don't have a mixing bowl like this, and you want to work it on the bench or on your table, go right ahead, whatever works for you. I'm just doing this here today because we have to do it in a quick, fast pace, as we say. We have our water, we have about a cup of water, this is lukewarm water, and what we want to do here, we want to feed our water with a little bit of, well, you can use maple syrup, uh, honey, or uh, sugar, basically you need something sweet for the yeast to feed off, okay? That's about a tablespoon there. And we have about a tablespoon of uh, yeast. We're just gonna give this the old one two here. Here we go, all right. So what we wanna do now with our yeast, we just wanna set it aside, you know, somewhere warm or whatever, not hot, just somewhere warm. So we're gonna sit it right over here, just like that. Just for a second till the yeast starts to work and starts to feed off the sugar. Just clear this out away so you can get a good view here. So what we're going to add into here, we're going to add some, uh, some more maple syrup. Like I told you, we're going to add a sweetness to this. So we're going to add some maple syrup. That's about oh, a quarter of a cup. Some cinnamon, that's about a half a teaspoon. Get that going right in there. And uh, just a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a teaspoon. I'm only adding brown sugar because I love the flavor of brown sugar. So I'm just going to add a little bit in here. Here we go. Just See, just about that much right there, but a te teaspoon. All right, now we get this going up here. This, you can do this ahead of time, you know? You wanna do this the day before or whatever? Feel, right, feel, you know, feel free to go right ahead and do so. I'm just gonna start working our ingredients before we add our water. Let it go, this is the fun part. You know, you wanna play some background music, have a shot of vino while we're in between, go right ahead. Oh yeah, that stuff tastes really good. Nothing like raspberry iceberg wine from Ock Island Winery when we're doing dessert pizza. It's a beautiful sunny day here at O'Neill's in Spaniards Bay. Whew, this is fantastic. All right, we take our water so I don't make a mess. Drop her down. Let our yeast, as we can see, it's not all in there. Get our yeast and our bit of honey that we have, our maple syrup story. 
Get it going in there. Gotta get our leavening agent. All right. Now, you may have to work with this a little bit, as it may stick to the sides. We're gonna get a pull it away, get it going in there. What I'll do, I'll show you now in a second, once this dough starts to form a ball. There we go, we got her up on six there now. And you know what? If you like mint, this is where we're gonna hit it with some more fresh mint right here. Who said you can't put fresh herbs in your dough? When I make regular pizza, when I make it like, you know, a rustic pizza, I always put fresh oregano and fresh thyme on my pizza. Right in, the, right in the dough. This is going to give it that extra blast of flavor we were talking about. Boom, just like that, all right. So our dough is slowly coming together. There we have it. Just like this. Put a bowl back up, get her going. Shot of wine in between. Fill in the gap. Oh yeah, here we go. It's coming together just so. A little bit of flour hanging around here, no big deal. Had to come together. Look, must have touched the grill. I got some grill marks on the back of my fingers here. Cleaned up. All right, now our dough is coming together. Here we go, one more notch. Roll it around a little bit. We're almost there. Working the gluten, the protein in the flour. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Show you right quick. Put this aside right here. Now I have a bowl right here, our bowl that we had our flour in. Leave a bit of flour into it like we had done. There we are. All right. Cinnamon's in there, our honey and our maple's in there. Lots of great flavor going on. Anyway, guys, when we come back, hey, we're gonna put this thing together. Products for Grillworks provided by Atlantic Grocery Distributors, Bay Roberts, Newfoundland. Grillworks was shot on location at O'Neill's Gardenland, Spaniards Bay, Newfoundland. Wines for Grillworks have been provided by Off Island Winery, Twillingate, Newfoundland. Hey guys, welcome back to Grillworks on Eastlink TV. We're gonna roll right in now. We're gonna make a brown sugar maple sauce. We have our pan over here, our pot, sorry, heating up. We have about a quarter cup of butter. See if I can get a good spoon here. Here we are. Quarter cup of butter. Get that down into our pot. All right. We have about half cup of maple, sorry, brown sugar. Get that one right in there. We have about a quarter cup of maple syrup. Get that going. We're gonna use, oh, pinch of cinnamon. I love cinnamon too. And we have about one good heaping tablespoon of molasses. There we go, good job, see that? We're gonna let that go there now. Got around about a medium heat. Put this right here. Keep our cinnamon aside after, cause we're gonna do a little cinnamon brown sugar sprinkle over our pizza. All right, now our bread. Let's see if we can wing this here today and not, not burn our bread with all the lovely sweetness into it. We're gonna dust our, our cutting board here with some flour. I would use powdered sugar if it was going in the oven, but it's not going in the oven, it's going right on the fired grill. So let's, let's see here. First of all, we don't need all of this one. Trim about this much off. We only have so much space on the grill anyway to work with. Gonna work it into a ball here. 
Look it around just so. Dust our bench again with some flour. Now, the cinnamon, the fresh mint, the brown sugar, the maple syrup, these are all your key flavors, okay? When you're, when you're making like a sweet dough for your pizza, if you like your dough maybe a little bit sweeter, feel free, feel free to go ahead and, you know, add it in there. Just gonna roll this one out here. Take your time, spread it out. All right, folks, we got our dough here spread out pretty good. We got our oil right nice. We have some dimples going on here. Make a nice rustic dessert pizza, why not? Now, we're gonna brush our, our grill here. We got some oil in a bowl with a cloth. I'm just gonna brush her just so. Here we go. Get this nice puppy right on here. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, these are pizza on the grill. <sighs> a little bit of flame, no big deal. That'll go down now in a second with a few shots of water. Here we go. Put your cover down on that one. Let her get a bit of heat. Our maple sauce is going just so over here. Get our spoon and get a good stir on her. All right. Looking good. Turn this down now to about medium low heat. Have a quick look. Oh yeah, we're getting good. I shouldn't touch it, but I just want to show you. See the grill marks? Wow, very nice, huh? Look at that. Let that just work its magic. We have our sauce over here. My hands are full of sugar and flour and everything nice. Our sauce is going over here just so. Ooh, that's gonna smell fantastic drizzle over that nice pizza, I gotta say. Now, if you're not a pizza lover, don't worry about it. You can take our macerator fruit, which we have right here. This stuff looks wonderful, by the way. You can take that nice, lovely maple sauce. We have here, brown sugar sauce, and we can drizzle over our fruit and use a bit of the, the juice over from the, from the wine and everything and make a dessert separate. But if you're in the pizza territory like I love, hey, can't go wrong with pizza, whether it's dessert, or a traditional pepperoni pizza. Now we're gonna get these right on here. Maybe we should toss them in a bit of oil first, I guess, hey? Put a bit of oil in here with all this. So it just don't stick. All right, get that going while here to sizzle. Nectarines on the grill. Apricots on the grill. Peaches on the grill. Papaya on the grill. Fruit on the grill. <laughs> Looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn that bad boy down now in a second, just to go to a good sear on our fruit. Bring out the sugars into it, some nice caramelization. Maybe we'll reserve that, we might just use that later. Maybe put it right over here. Grab a bit of paper towel. Turn this one down, have a look at our pizza, see if we're ready for the turn. Oh yeah, we're ready for the turn, let's watch this one. Oh yeah, nice and colorful. Don't worry about the cherry. This is right over our grill, right, folks? So you know the color is really going to add to the flavor. Our sauce is over here, just about done. Let's have a good peek. I'm going to turn this one off here now. You know, maybe what I'm going to do? Take a bit of that that wine, that flavor. Add a little bit of that in here. There we go, just like that. Yeah, it's almost ready. You see it's all coming together? Just gonna let it reduce maybe for another minute. I can really smell the cinnamon and the brown sugar and maple. Now folks, while we're waiting for all this to work, our pizza, we are gonna pull it aside and set it off in a couple minutes. Maybe we'll just pull the grill down on here. Let it work as magic. When we come back, we're gonna put this bad boy pizza together and make one heck of a dessert. Stick around.
food products for Grillworks, provided by Atlantic Grocery Distributors, Bay Roberts, Newfoundland. Grillworks was shot on location at O'Neill's Gardenland, Spaniards Bay, Newfoundland. Wines for Grillworks have been provided by Off Island Winery, Twillingate, Newfoundland. Hey everybody, welcome back to Grillworks. We got a superstar with us today. We got my daughter, Brooke Goss. Hey Brooke, say hi to everybody. Give us a good wave. Hi. All right. All right guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll right on. We have our pizza dough right here. We grilled. Don't mind the char marks. That's flavor, flavor, flavor on our pizza, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our berry yogurt. What do you think, Brooke, you like yogurt? <laughs> yeah, I love yogurt. I'm gonna take some berries here, put right on in here with our yogurt, grab a spoon right over here. Grab a spoon, maybe grab a fork. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get this stuff going just like this. We did take our dough off, let it cool down a bit, just so. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a scattered little dollop here, there, and everywhere. Just like this. What do you think, Brooke? You like lots of berries, Brooke? <laughs> yeah, I love berries. My favorite are berries. What do you, what's your favorite? Strawberries. Stra I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Dad knew that. All right. And raspberries. And raspberries, too? <laughs> yeah, see? I knew you like raspberries. All right, we got our fruit going. <laughs> grab a piece here. Slide this bad boy pizza down right here. We're going to grab a piece of mango. Nectarine, sorry, <laughs> apricot. What we have right here. Got the marks on those. Hey, that's flavor right there. Working as magic. All right, get one more piece of this. Okay, Brooke, now I'm just going to push this right here like this till we get it going. Going to put a cut here and a cut here. One piece here. One for you, Brooke. One for Daddy. <laughs> what? One for Brooke. One for me. Yeah. Two for Brooke. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. Another one right here. Oh, yeah, that's looking good, huh? Nice and hot. Get our mango going, a couple pieces. Piece here, piece there, piece here, piece there. One, one, another one. Back here in the back. Oh, boy, it's nice and hot. It's good. Let me go. I'm put on Maybe I'll grab another, another mango here. <laughs> Get this one going. What do you think? You like mangoes? You ever tried mangoes before? I think you have tried mangoes before, haven't you? Mm -hmm. See, you, you, don't, don't, say, you don't mind trying stuff, do you? I don't know. You don't know, no. <laughs> Whatever daddy makes you eat, hey. Get my yes. hands washed. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Brooke. We're getting there. Smells, We're getting. That smells good. It smells good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See, folks? Kid approved. Follow along. All right, here. Now, what we're going to do right now, have a nice sauce. We're probably going to drizzle just a little bit over it, just so, like this. Hey, Brooke, we're going to finish it after with a bit of sauce. Yeah. Maybe some vanilla <laughs> ice cream. All right. Put this right here. Let me get this on our platter. Turn our grill off as we're finished with it. <laughs> All right. You think, Brooke, slide it right on over here, hey? Yeah, I don't think that's yeah. going to fit. Oh, <laughs> no, sure. All right, here we go. Now, we're going to make a smoothie. Daddy's going to lay this one over here, don't we? What do you think? Lay him right here. There you go, lay him right there. Is that a good pizza? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Work approved. Now, get our blender. We're going to make a berry smoothie because, you know, kids got to have something to drink too. All I can say, we're drinking our wine. You know, why not make a nice fruit smoothie? What do you think, Brooke? Yeah. Look at this right here. I'm going to throw some berries in there for Dad. Throw them up there. There you go. Get them up there going. Good job. Get them going. I'll finish it off with the blueberries. Here we go, dump them right in there. I have some yogurt with some berries left. Hit that rocking right in there. Let me see, Brooke. Oh, I'm gonna take a nice scoop of this. Oh, nice scoop of this ice cream. Brooke can get her going in there too. What do you think? Gotta have ice cream in our smoothies. Just like that. Another one. Put it aside. What else think, Brooke? Some maple syrup, maybe touch maple syrup? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> there we go. This is like a really dessert smoothie here going, folks. Yeah. Big time, huh? What else are we gonna put in there? Anything else? Maybe a couple cubes of ice cubes. Yeah. We'll make it nice and cold. All right. And have enough yogurt. Maybe just a little touch more yogurt. yogurt. <laughs> Good job. All right. Huh? Now, put this on here. Lots of noise. Ready? Ready for the noise? <laughs> there we go. 
Working its magic, doing what it's saying. Right? All right. Move it, move it, hey. All right, folks, look at that funky blue color. Oh, it's gonna be great. What do you think, Brooke? We're done? I think we're done there. Purple, whistle on, change the color. Lay this puppy right over here. You gotta get a glass for my little girl. Come back here. All right. What do you think, Brooke? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> One of these fancy bad boys, look. Can't, wouldn't have it without that. Hey, what are we gonna put on that for you? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe a lemon. That going in through there. Daddy putting right in here for you. She gotta be fancy too, right? It's all about her too. You know, it's not just us. Get that going on there. Now, you hold that right there. Daddy's gonna get his pizza and plate his pizza up. Just so. <laughs> it's gonna look great. It's gonna look great. All right, get ready to wipe down, wipe down our station. Now, I lay this right here. I'm gonna take my pizza back up right here. I'm gonna give it a little cut. Brooke, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Cut it like this. I'm gonna cut one more big piece for me and maybe a piece for Brooke. What do you think, Brooke? Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, just aside, grab our plate right here. Put our pizza around here just so like that. All right, look at that. Now, what else we're gonna do? We're not finished yet. A bit of ice cream. Pop some ice cream on this one. I love lots of ice cream. You like lots of ice cream? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Drizzle some of that down over it. All right, some of that. Mmm. Some of that delicious sauce. Down over this bad boy right here. Woo, here we go. That's it, folks. We've done it here today at Grill Works in Spires Bay at Beautiful Garden Land, our dessert pizza with my superstar, Burke Goss. And a fruit smoothie, of course, and we got our glass of wine here from Ock Island Winery. It has been a blast. Say goodbye, Brooke. Bye. See you, everybody. Till next time. <laughs>